All right, uh, Cooper Road Mini, we're doing a short comparison of disc and drum brakes on a Mini that's set up with a nice powerful engine like we like to like, like we like we to have these days. Excuse me, Roxy. All right, let's take a quick look here. This car is the Mark II. This has drum brakes, the twin leading shoe drum brakes. Really, uh, 1968, it's kind of what you expect. Not a lot of cars had great, great brakes then. Um, but when we've set it up with a powerful engine, uh, you know, we always suggest that you go to disc brakes and we've uh, done a short video showing how this car stops in an empty parking lot. Let's take a look at the nuts and bolts here. The adjustments on these is very critical. People have trouble getting these to bleed without having a vague pedal. What we're going to do, and I have, an, I have the old one here off the uh, Mini Moak that we built last year, uh, just to show what's happening as you adjust these brakes. They give you these two square nuts. They take a 5 16 or 8 millimeter open end. What's happening on the inside, it's a pin. And what we're doing is we're moving, it's just a circular pin with an offset lug. So that offset lug moves the shoe closer out to the drum. And so what we're gonna do here is we go to adjust these, and you can see how little it takes. There's the little square lug on the, this is the front shoe of the left front wheel. And we can see that the tiniest bit of adjustment it got tight there if we go a little bit more now i really can't turn the wheel by hand that little tiny bit from there to there you can see how locked up and broken loose tiny tiny bit so we're going to set it right at the edge where there's just no contact and we're going to go all the way around and do all four of these there's one here and there's one at the upper part on the back side of this left front wheel same on the other wheel you do want to do all of them because it's just like independent shoes adjustments on these things. If you set one up like an American car thinking, well, that'll tighten the other one, it doesn't. You end up wasting pedal travel to move the fluid it takes to move the shoes. So now we've set them all at the very edge of the, of the, the drum, and that should give us the best possible pedal. All right, we'll, uh, we'll continue with this. We'll show if any improvements happened here, and then we'll do a comparison with, of course, our green uh, Cooper Road Mini back there which has fantastic disc brakes, and it can stop very, very, very quickly. Okay, good for now.